good morning to all myself dr anbudurai assistant professor of chemistry at soaps at psn college of engineering and technology at namas tirunal today i am going to discuss about the topic bioinorganic chemistry and inorganic perspective of life why i have chosen this topic is uh, this majorly involved in the biological aspect of human life and living organisms here the bioinorganic chemistry is majorly discuss about the inorganic chemistry and the biological systems and bio biological system is majorly get answer concern about dna and the proteins and dna virus the dna molecules dna has been uh, discovered by watrix and the dna has uh, four bands and the protein has a protein is a macro molecules and these two uh, two molecules are majorly played in the bioinorganic chemistry for the biological roles and this bioinorganic chemistry or the bioinorganic chemistry is majorly operated operates on the coordination chemistry this coordination chemistry is a complex coordination chemistry is a complex or coordination compound which is formed by the metal ions and ligands interactions here in which metal ions will be at the center and the by and uh, will be uh, metal ions will be surrounded by, surrounded by the molecules or ions which are known as ligands or complexing agents and this coordination chemistry which is which is uh, operated by the chelation chemistry chelation is a compound characterized by presence of bonds from the two or more bonding bonding sites within the same ligand towards the central metal atom that chelate complexes are more stable than the complexes with the corresponding monodendrite ligands and the ligands are classified monodendrite bidendrite and tridendrite and tetradendrite which goes on uh, up to the polydendrites here the coordination chemistry the valency will be uh, classified for a primary valency and the secondary valency by this coordination chemistry was discovered by the nobel laureate alfred werner and he has developed the theory from starting the cobalt determine cobalt complexes and chlorine complexes by the color changes he proposed the theory only theory by the coordination complexes using the determine cobalt complexes for and he also describes about the mechanisms which is, which is involved in this theory and he has proposed uh, six, six six points and his limit this this theory also has some limitations and he has developed the theory at coordination chemistry and he has also received the nobel prize for this invention he has uh, developed the concept at the age of 26 and he has uh, he has uh, experience in 25 years and supervised to 200 phd students and he has published uh, synthesis in uh, for uh, 8000 complexes in the coordination compounds which aspects and relates to his theory this is a this is a schematic representation of periodic table and then in the periodic table the bulk classified the compounds or highlighted compounds are bulk elements trace elements and for some pieces whereas the bulk elements which is uh, highly essential for our human life or living organisms at the bulk level whereas the trace elements which is required at vital level and trace level for per day at microgram level for our human or living organisms and for some pieces is arsenic and selenium and bromium and tin is a, for some pieces it is required for uh, for the living and uh, operating the human life cycles and this topics uh, bioinorganic chemistry an inorganic perspective of a biological system which i am going to majorly discuss about the metal ions and its function in the several living organism including the human life as well as the animal life and all the living organisms and as i have uh, highlighted in the periodic table in the bulk elements bulk elements were as the sodium and potassium ions which is, uh, which involves in the biological functions as electrolytes and to maintain the concentration radian in living cells as osmotic balance and it also helps in active and passive transport and sodium plus and potassium plus which also helps in the charge carriers and this is uh, this sodium and potassium 
At the bulk level, it helps the, to maintain the osmotic pressure in our human body. And whereas the, and the another example is Mg2+, Mg2 plus present in chlorophyll and which is helps in the photo photosynthesis in the reproduction and which, are, which also helps in energy production from ADP to ADP production and Mg2 plus activates activation of enzymes and which also help in the inflammation carrier and Mg2 plus present in endo and exoskeletics. And the next classification is calcium 2 plus and calcium 2 plus which uh, place in the biological function is starch carrier and in muscle and nerve functions and cell signaling are the major function and it also acts as a second messenger and sentinel at synapses and it also present in teeth as calcium phosphates and hydroxyl appetite and calcium duplex is also involved in the biological function in activation of enzymes and calcium duplex ion is which also involves and uh, contribute in the blood coagulations in our human as well as living organisms. And the next classification is trace metal ions. And the trace metal ions, for an example, zinc 2 plus and copper and iron and cobalt and manganese and nickel and molybdenum and uh, vanadium. Whereas zinc 2 plus is hydrolytic enzymes and carboxy peptidase and metal storage and uh, for a uh, metal. Zinc 2 plus is also, which also involved in the bio biological, biological function as metal storage, example metallothionin, and which also involves in the zinc finger proteins, genetic transcription, stabilization of proteins. And the next copper 1 and copper 2 are the or copper 2 and co copper 1 and copper 2, which are involved in the ele electron process, electron transfer process and transport of transport and storage of dioxins in the biological functions. And the next trace elements is Fe2 and Fe3. Fe2 and Fe3 which involves the conversion of N2 to ammonia, which is the process called nitrogen fixation and is, which also involves in the electron transfer and which also involved in the hemoglobin and myoglobin to transport the storage to transport and storage of dioxin. And the cobalt 3 is uh, involved in the biological function is called, uh, we uh, already know about the uh, vitamin B12, the cyanocobalamin, the cobalt 3 plus which is present in the cyanocobalamin to help the biological functions. And then the manganese 2 and manganese 3 and manganese 4, manganese 4 is electron transfer and which also involves in the photosynthesis generation of dioxin by splitting water. And it is a part of OEC, OEC which is represent oxygen evolving complex in photosystem 2 system. And the next uh, trace element is nickel, uh, nickel 1 and nickel 2 and nickel 3. The 1, and one 2, 3 is a representation of oxidation state of metal. Na2 which involves in the electron transfer or as per the biological function. And nickel 2 plus uh, hydrogenase and hydrolysis in ureas. And molybdenum 4 and 6 which helps in the biology function in terms of uh, electron transfer and conversion of N2 and ammonia. The process is already I, we have discussed as nitrogen fixation. Then now I am going to discuss on the bionorganic chemistry. The bionorganic chemistry, the, from the word itself we can uh, came to know the bionorganic chemistry. It is a highly advanced interdisciplinary science. It, which involves the biological and inorganic chemistry aspects, which is deals with the roles of metals and non-metals in biological systems. These uh, inorganic elements other than carbon, especially metals and non-metals, are also essential and vital to the functioning of biosystems. And bionorganic chemistry, many biological processes such as biosynthesis, respiration, metal ion, metal ion transport and enzy enzymatic actions and etc. which is fall into the realm of bionorganic chemistry. As I, as I have already told about the bionorganic chemistry, which is highly advanced and inter interdisciplinary science. And uh, this uh, bionorganic chemistry and in inorganic perspective of life, which I am going to discuss about the metal ions are present in human body, plants and uh, vitamins and proteins and enzymes and med 
and as well as uh, medicines. From the beginning, metal ions in human body. In human body, metal ions are very, very much essential, and hemoglobin and myoglobin are the very much essential to function of our human body as well as the living organisms. Where the hemoglobin is present in a red blood cells, which is denoted by RBC and which is helps in the transport of dioxin from lungs to tissues. Whereas the myoglobin stores dioxin and it is present in muscles. Hemoglobin transport oxygen from lungs and uh, lungs and tissues. Whereas the myoglobin oxygen storage protein of skeletal muscles. Hemoglobin and myoglobin are deoxygenated binding metal proteins containing iron and uh, surrounded by fibrin ring. Fibrin ring is called uh, heme and both of them containing uh, same metal ions and Fe2 ion, which is Fe2 ion. And next classification is metal ions in plants. Metal ions in plants is magnesium plant in the metal ions and with it is a magnesium containing complex its name is chlorophyll and the chlorophyll is a green color pigment and the green plant and algae mg2 plus at the center and the surrounded by furfurin ring this furfurin ring is called chlorine and chlorophyll function in a plant to absorb light and transfer it through the plant during the photosynthesis which, uh, which, is, which will be done the process at daytime the next classification is vitamins metal ions in vitamins is called, as i have already told about the vitamin b12 which is a class which is named which is named as cyanocobalamin and vitamin d vitamin b12 it is a complex by and by it is a it is a it is a complex structure and this vitamin b12 the metal ion will be at the center is cobalt and which will the furfurin ring will be at, surrounded by furfurin ring that furfurin ring will be called as corin and vitamin b12 it is a generic name for group of compounds called four pyrrole ring this vitamin b12 which uh, involves in the biological functions such as proper nerve function metabolizing fats and proteins and production of red blood cells and also the dna reproduction these are the function which involves in the vitamin b12 and then which contribute contribute by the vitamin b12 which is uh, cyanocobalamin and the next classification is metal ions in proteins metal ions in proteins are classified into three types fe and fes containing and cu containing which is fe is ion containing fes fe ion and sulfur containing cu which means copper containing for an example is fe containing protein is cytochrome and heme erythrin and the example for fe and s containing protein is pyridoxine rubidoxine and rsk protein and copper containing protein is three types and type 1 to type 3 for an example is plastocyanin and hemocyanin hemocyanin is also called as human blue plant. And the biological functions which involves in the cytochrome which is used in mainly by the mitochondria in the ETC. ETC terms which is represented as the electron transport in the chain. And the next heme erythrin as I have already told about the heme erythrin which is also called as a blue blood is an ion containing non-heme protein and oligomeric protein which transport in oxygen in the marine environment. And also the next classification is pyridoxine. Pyridoxine acts as an electron transfer agent in the biological redox reactions. And the other classification is to help the bacterial pro protein involved in electron transfer in mitochondria. Electron transfer in mitochondria. And the next classification is entire metal ions in enzymes. Here the two types carboxypeptidase and carboxyhydrase. Whereas the carboxy peptidase, it is a hydrolase enzyme. It removes C terminal amino acids from a protein at the peptide chain. And this process is repeated until the all the amino acids are removed from the C and C and in the amino acids are peptide chain. Thus, this enzyme helps in the degradation of peptides in biological systems. And these are active sites of carboxy peptidase containing tetragonally coordinated zinc, zinc to place. 
the central the central metal ion will be present in the carboxy peptidase is zinc to plus and it is also coordinated by two histidine residues and one glutamate residue and one water molecule there are four molecules surrounded by the zinc to plus is carboxy peptidase and next type is uh, carboxy anhydrase here also the zinc to plus is tetrahedrally coordinated and the active sites containing tetrahedrally coordinated zinc to plus and which is surrounded by three histidine residues and one water molecule this is an her this is an herboxy anhydrase compound and this reaction will be met followed by the step some some kind of step and the for the first step is deprotonation of coordinated water molecule the this is a crucial step in the carboxy anhydrase mechanisms and zinc bound water molecule is more acidic than free uh, free water molecule so hence it passes proton it's very easily and followed by step 1 the step 2 will be the remove formation of zinc bound hydroxyl group carries out the nucleophilic attack on co2 to get the his zinc acid complex and uh, this process is also called as nucleophilic addition on co2 group and the next step will be the displacement of acid by water molecule and these are the mechanisms which is involved in the arbax and dietaries and the next classification will be the metal ions in medicines for the above in the above discussed uh, metal ions in plants humans as well as the enzymes and proteins are in the biological system but metal ions in medicines are the right played a vital role in our uh, daily life the, the metal ions will be prefer in medicines for the treatment and the, to cure the disease, variety of diseases there are number of diseases that can be cured by the administration of metals and diseases can also be caused by the lack of metal ions the number one preventing heart injuries and the imaging body and anti hiv drugs anti cancer drugs such as radiation emitters and dna binders for an mri agent magnetic resonance imaging a good mri agent should have the following characteristics the mri good mri agents has been used so far is cadmium salts and which has high magnetic moment long electron spin relaxation time and also which has the low toxicity hence it is uh, used to for the medical treatment cadmium 3 plus salts like uh, this uh, sone uh, DODA and DTPA and uh, GDTODA which is explained 147 tetra tetra acyl dodecan and 14710 tetra acetic acids and diethylene triamine penta acetic acid and whereas this is termed as TTPA and cadmium DODA is a anionic complex so these complexes as an example as an MRI agents and here the pictorial representation which is shown without the mri agent and with the mri agent how we we can easily ident identify the block in the human skulls so from the above pic we can uh, we cannot identify the block without the contrast agents from the below uh, from the second pic we can easily identify the block and the positions where it is block in a human skull by the usage of contrast agents and the next uh, metal ions in medicine is anti hiv drugs and uh, how it is blocking virus by the metal ion drug will be shown by the representations here the dna or human body will be administered by the hum drug and the human body and drug will be blocking the virus attack the receptor signaling unit will be blocked by the administration of metal ions in our body so conclusions the so far we have discussed about the biological functions of metal ions in body and plants and uh, protein and uh, enzyme as well as for the medicine uses the metal ion elements present in trace quantities play vital roles at the molecular level in several living systems and the introduction of metal elements has proved our tracks into biological systems and studied inorganic materials that will be mimic at the mimic the behavior of various metalloproteins 
and which also investigate which also investigate and motivate the researchers in various aspects uh, like nutritional aspects toxicity and therapeutic action and trans transport and storage of metals in human plants and including microorganisms and etc why i have chosen this topic is uh, is this broadly covered into two type of uh, two type of uh, core topics which is which involves the chemistry as well as the biological so i have i have chosen this topic to discuss with the students to develop the metal elements in the trace and uh, what are the usage how being used by the human life in day to day life at the bulk and trace thank you very much